Let's talk about the symbolism of the lover's card in tarot and how it represents an archetype of Gemini. So the lover's card depicts the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Behind Eve is the tree of knowledge of good and evil and behind Adam is the burning bush which appears uh, in um, the story of Exodus where Moses encounters the story of the burning bush but it also represents the Virgin Mary. That's a whole other. On the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we see the tempting serpent, and above them, we see the archangel Gabriel. The most basic meaning of this card is obviously love or a relationship, but really in a reading, it represents a choice, a very important choice. That is why it draws on the imagery of Adam and Eve, because they chose to eat the knowledge of good and evil. And so that's kind of what the choice uh, represents within a reading. Now, I mentioned earlier that this card is connected to the sign of Gemini. So let's talk about that. So um, Gemini is obviously the twins and we can see that there are two people in this card representing the twins because Adam and Eve are kind of like twins, right? Like she's literally taken from his rib. But on a much deeper level, Gemini represents communication. And this card represents the communication between the mind, the conscious mind, which is represented by Adam, the masculine, and the feminine mind, which is represented by Eve. Now, what's interesting is Adam is looking at Eve and Eve is looking at Gabriel. And the reason because is, for this is, is because the conscious mind impresses upon the subconscious mind. Now the subconscious mind kind of births into existence, manifests, but it's looking up at the divine, God, but also the collective unconscious, the realm of archetypes. This card also reveals the truth that Adam ate the fruit because he chose Eve. He was choosing his wife, but Eve actually chose the fruit because the serpent told her that she would become like God. And I don't think that information was actually relayed to Adam. The, when the serpent said that um, if you eat like this, you'll actually become like gods or like God, she ate the fruit knowing that, but she didn't actually relay that information to Adam. So Adam chose to eat the fruit for the woman, right? That's why he's looking at Eve. But Eve ate the fruit purely to become more like God, to become more godly, even though that's not really what happened. But so that's why this represents a choice. And if you know any Geminis in your life, the reason why this card connects um, to that sign is because Geminis have very hard time making decisions, but they're also able to weigh the pros and cons of a decision like no other sign. You may have heard, seen my other video on the Gemini flip-flop, that idea that they will be in full support of one idea and then flip to the other. Um, it's kind of like they're both evaluating like what's going to happen, the consequences of either choice. And so they're very balanced in that sense, but it also leads to indecision. Um, I hope that clarifies the meaning of this card. Thanks so much for watching. Tell me in the comments, does this card come up for you a lot in readings? And if so, what does it mean to you?